Hello everyone, my name is Perry from Rutgers University, and today I will be presenting our paper, AR on the Bog, Monitoring and Evaluating Cranberry Crop Risk. The field of precision agriculture aims to improve farming methods and resource management decision making through computational approaches. Its long-term potential is in optimizing yield by real-time monitoring to precisely tune irrigation, fertilization, and other crop management. Here, we hope to increase efficiency in both yield estimation and resources management through a two-camera system, one facing the fruit and another monitoring sky conditions. More specifically, this work addresses the issue of cranberry crop overheating risk assessment. Too much solar radiation causes irreversible damage to cranberry fruits, resulting in losses that can represent upward of 40% of entire crops. This work proposes a combination of computer vision methods to provide an automated system to estimate yield loss and manage irrigation resources. Our approach is composed of two main tasks that are in parallel. The first task seeks to automatically segment and count exposed cranberries from down-facing drone imagery to estimate locations of regions with high sun exposure risk. The second task seeks to analyze up-facing sky imagery to determine cloud motion and cover for future irradiance prediction, leverage to further predict internal berry temperature and assess overheating risk. The output of the task is combined to an exposure matrix for farmers, providing high risk regions over the entire crop and upcoming high risk times when the farmers should attend those high risk regions. The first module, which addresses the first task and is built upon SSSS network, feeds aerial imagery to an encoded decoder network to learn instant segmentation and count predictions using point supervision and three loss functions, segmentation loss, split loss, and count loss. The segmentation loss makes a use of the set of positive and negative ground truth points to guide the network towards positive locations and away from negative locations. The split loss aims to ensure blobs in the segmentation masks are separable, hence countable, through the selective watershed algorithm. Lastly, the count loss directly penalizes number of separable cranberries in the prediction masks calculated by the connected component algorithm. When predicted over an entire crop bed, a density map can be generated to indicate regions with more exposed cranberries than others. The second component of our solution is composed of four steps. First, sequences of up-facing sky images are passed to a deep learning module for cloud segmentation and motion flow regression. The cloud probability and motion maps are then passed to a geometry-based module that weighs the results to estimate a prediction zone within each image. This zone contains clouds likely to occlude the sun in the near future. The predicted occlusion probability for each future time increment is used to weigh the historical clear sky irradiance values of the geographical region. A final machine learning module takes the predicted irradiance values and other weather samples to output the berry temperature forecast. Our solution for joint segmentation and motion estimation is based on SegMotionNet. Since cloud-related annotations are extremely challenging to collect, we leverage and extend this weekly supervised CNN to train from noisy label data. The results reflect on how our approach improved the cloud segmentation accuracy in the presence of noisy input. Using the sun location with motion and cloud probability maps, we calculate prediction zones represented by the purple regions in the top left figures. Then, sun occlusion probability map is used to predict irradiance values based on reference clear sky irradiance curve, close match between predicted irradiance and ground truth in a time horizon of 20 minutes can be observed in the bottom left figures. Lastly, results of very internal temperature predictions are shown using MLP and random forests. Overall, we propose an end-to-end -end vision based system to monitor berry overheating. Some challenges include berries' appearance variability and occlusions, making them hard to detect, while the chaotic nature of clouds makes irradiance forecasting challenging. In the future, we hope to apply our method on other types of fruits that are susceptible to heat, as we believe our technology is a significant step towards real-time fruit health monitoring. Thank you for your attention, and please feel free to reach out for any question or comment.